Okay guys, I'm here today with Cario Pravic, the Silver Fox, huge honor for me. Guys, uh, Cario just shot the entire structure all about the split guard. And uh, can you explain a little more about it, uh, Cario? So I call it split guard. It's a little different from clamp guard because I'm splitting the opponent's body in two. Arm and head in, one arm out. And basically, the, the difference between uh, clamp guard and this, I have both feet on the hips. I have found that sometimes if I, my feet come off the hips, that a guy can, strong guy can posture up. Whereas with split guard, the way I do it is both feet on the hips and you split in the opponent's bodies, they cannot come forward and they cannot back out. Yep. And once they're caught in it, I have basically four submissions, four major submissions. There's other things you can do with it, but depending how seriously they consider the threat of this, of this split guard, sometimes they try to square up, it's a short arm bar. If they turn a little bit, it's an arm, um, triangle. No, I mean, guys, <laughs> he just showed me the technique right before, so I memorized it. It's the short arm bar, triangle, omoplata, inverted omoplata. Oh, inverted arm bar. Inverted arm bar, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So if they consider the threat very seriously, they just kind of abandon their arm, so they give me almost free reign to attack that leg. Okay, yeah, let's, let's do let's this, do let's show this. So, I do the guard open, we've done this before, so there's a lot of different entries that's covered on the DVD as well. So I lift my hips, I open my legs, but I'm squeezed. So there's a split second delay in person feeling guard open. I put at least one foot on the hip, second foot on the hip. And now what I'm threatening is this arm and I'm splitting your body. So you have one arm, one in. So okay. now if you try, if you're bigger than me, try to come forward. It's, you can't. it's a short arm work. Yeah. yeah. Try to back out. Ah, yeah. You can't. Yeah. So this is very good defensively as well as offensively, including for an MMA because you can't hit me. Yep, yeah, I agree. So, yeah. Yep. And the more you kind of try to fight this, this you feel the pain. Yeah, and even for MMA, the gloves yeah. might even help you even more. With right? the gloves, it's yep. going to be even better. I usually will try to control this hand if I can. Yep. So now, basically, you kind of stuck. Yep. So people will now make a choice. If they try to square up, which cause, when they try to square up, it causes pain. This is painful. Yep, yep. I just lift my hips. Yep. Yeah. This is a short arm bar. So they will generally try to move their head away. If they move just a little bit, I'm gonna have them try trying. It. Got it. If they move a little bit more, I'm gonna go omoplata, and because I'm controlling far side arm, I like this one better than your traditional omoplata. Yep. Yeah. It's really tight. And if they move really far, what I'll do is I'll make sure they cannot retract this arm too far. So I'm back, I'm catching with my hand, yep. as well as my, my right ankle. Yeah, so you have a backup system here. Yes. Even if your hand fails. Even if your hand fails, I can still yep. do this. And I'm gonna go real slow because this is, yep. you can usually finish people here, yep. but people that have a little bit more flexible arms, they try to roll. roll. I'm gonna catch them. And you finish with your arm. I don't even have to bring, yep. bring the no, leg over. The, uh, interesting thing here, so we started to move with my hand under your armpit, and every single variation you did, my hand is still yeah. on your armpit. As you know from my on uh, guard DVD, the armpit grip for me is very favorite. It's it's tremendous amount of leverage. Yep. And it's just just if you do this well, we do this test. Just I don't normally I will have my hands on the wrist, and but this is a yep. good test. Like yep. it's not easy to pull. Yeah. No, it's really stuck. Yeah. yeah. No, I got it. So I love that grip, and I don't, I don't like to re grip because anytime you re grip, especially when you're inverting, rolling, yeah. you're gonna so, lose. It. So you pretty much set up one grip and one, one system, and you go from there. Like uh, yeah. all, all the options comes from there. Like, no, I love it. No, I love it. No, and as we talk about for, especially you mentioned in NBA, the gloves might be like yeah. a huge help over there because then the hands get even bigger, right? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Right. They, I've, you know, I've, I've, I've been playing with this for years and I, I didn't, to me, it's like second nature and I didn't realize that the people have been asking me like, when are you going to do a DVD on, on split it's guard? Hard. No, I love it. So, so I did, I think a lot of people that I train with, they really recognize all this. Yeah. And you, you can see why it's both defensively as well as offensively. Yeah. It's very oh, good. Oh, okay. And I love how well you explain and how you always make the things like progressing, you know, like for example, in this case, like you go to the short armbar. If that fails, you have the triangle. I'm not even gonna say that if that fails, if the reaction is different, different. But there's always like the option for each direction and the I keep, to learn in life. I keep steering people. 
Until they only have one option. Yes. I finally let everybody into submission. Oh, I love it. No, that's awesome. <laughs> so, guys, uh, this split guard instruction is going to be very soon at bjjfanatics.com. Maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So, make sure to check that out. And thanks so much. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Always yeah. good to see you. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.